up, go up, go up, go up. I'd still be little intro, you hear me? But I'm talking about Mr. Goo Burr, Gucci Goo Up, you hear me? Gucci man, because apparently he ain't like what NBA Young Boy said. What NBA Young Boy said, I used to fuck with Gucci, but he fuck with them little pussy head little boys or whatever he said about Gucci, you hear me? And he ain't like that. He came out and said, hey, leave me off of this beef, this internet beef. And apparently, Goo Up came back. With a diss track of his own called Publicity Stunt. Now, Academics was on his Twitch saying that, you know, Gu Gucci gave him the scoop that was coming out. I'm not too sure about that. People hating. I don't really care for that. We need to talk about Gucci. But anyways, I had to mention it. Shout out my nigga Academics. But anyways, we need to talk about Gua. Now, I heard the track. I'm going to tell you my thoughts on it now. You know, he alluded to him saying, you know, uh, you feel like Gucci... Back in 2006, I forgot what song Young Boy said it on, but he said whatever. I forgot what song that was. But anyways, and this is the thing, Young Boy get very disrespectful on these songs. So it's like with this song, like it, it sounds like a good song. Honestly, Gucci could put this on a project. I think Gucci working on a project. If he put this on a project, I'll be like, oh hell yeah, <laughs> nigga. I listen to this like it's a regular song, and we know Gucci could take it there, nigga. Every nigga heard the truth. Gucci can take it there, even in rumors when you talk about Pookie, like Gucci can really take it there if he want to, you know, with his this track shit. But I feel like he actually fought with NBA Young Boy. I feel like that's the thing. Like, he actually like, no, nah, I like this little nigga. He kind of reminded me of me. I like this little nigga. You know what I'm saying? He kind of reminded me of me when I was, like, young and really on some shit. You know, he kind of reminded me of me. Like, I feel like that's the situation with it. A lot of these newer artists, I say they, like, Chief Keith they, and they Gucci kids. I say that a lot. You know, I just... Uh, yeah, what was I saying? Fucking, I quit them a lot to... Gucci kids, a lot of this new generation, they chief keep them Gucci kids with a little bit of boosty mixed in, if you will. And the other people that just got their like kids in general. Like there's a nigga that's like them, but it's mostly chief even Gucci that got the wave of the new younger niggas. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and Gucci fought with street niggas, so of course I know he fought with NBA young boy, so that was a thing. Cause I was hearing the track. Man, hold on one second. That's better. I was hearing the track. <laughs> And like the motherfucker, like we all know Gucci can get this big full like again. So I feel like he, he served it up a little light, of course. A little dirt co signed the Gucci track and is what it is. And again, this is more of NBA Youngboy's point of everybody in the industry is basically picking a side and all this shit is continuing. I basically dropped a video about boss top saying some shit niggas gotta pick a side. It's just basically continuing and going on to that. That was a good song, honestly. Gucci could put this on an album and it'll bop. But like yeah, it wasn't like this song. It wasn't trash or nothing. It was solid. But like, did you really diss nigga? No, nigga was just talking to shit. In my opinion, it's a cool song. Like, it didn't have to be a diss, and it was a good song, honestly. Yo, Gucci back on this shit. I will say, nigga dropped rumors, some other song, and this song. They hidden for me. I ain't gonna lie. Anyways, let's get into this article real quick. You know, I'm just gonna talk about my shit. You know, so Gucci Man fires back in NBA Youngboy with publicity stunt this track. Gucci Man may have undergone a physical and spiritual transformation since his release from prison, his prison in 2017, but that doesn't mean he's above sparring with his rap peers. Last month, the 1017 boss saw his name. <laughs> it was like a couple weeks ago, my nigga. Anyways, <laughs> like a couple, like a week or two ago, anyways. Saw his name cropped up in NBA Youngboy's I Hate Youngboy, a vicious diss track that also contains shots at his current nemesis Lil Durk as well as Lil Baby. When the fuck did he diss 42 Doug? Okay. I didn't catch that one. Lil Baby, allegedly 42 Doug. I don't believe there's validity in there. Boosie Badass, Dirk's fiance, India, and Apple Music. I used to fuck with Gucci till I seen him like them pussy niggas. Yeah, that's what he said. Young boy snarl, snarl. <laughs> Referencing Gucci's recent song Rumors, collaboration with Lil Durk. Every N-word I did a feature with you, slime him out. Slime out to get him. So Gucci returned Friday on February 4th, sorry, March 4th, on his new single publicity stunt. Mr. Zone 6, uh... Signaled his response by quoting NBA Youngboy's I feel like I feel like I'm Gucci Man in 2006 lyric on Instagram while sharing photos of himself rocking a bright yellow outfit next to a matching Ferrari, invoking his classic Lemonade video from 2009. 
Hours later, Gucci unleashed public publicity stunt on which he subliminally responds to young boy's recent diss. He trying to pull a publicity stunt. These rappers be pussy. They bleed once a month. Don't speak on my name. Don't get put in a blunt. You can diss all you want. Still won't get a response. He opens the song. This is a quote. YouTube, leave me alone. So I, he later raps. Why you diss me for publicity, N-word? Is you in the streets or an industry, N-word? Is you my fan or my enemy, N-word? My money too grown to be kidding with, N-words. Leaving little doubt that who he's talking to, Gucci closes the track by repeating, I thought you felt like Gucci man in 2006 before adding, well, damn. Gucci and NBA Youngboy previously linked up for the 2018 song Cold Shoulder and 2019's Richer Than Everybody, which also featured the baby. Although it's unlikely the pair will be reuniting for a third collaboration anytime soon, Gucci Man isn't the only rapper to have responded to NBA Youngboy's I Hate Youngboy. Earlier this week, fellow Ban Rouge native Boosie Badass fired back on I Don't Call Phones, I Call Shites from the deluxe edition of his heartfelt album. <sighs> And like I said, I feel like Gucci got to get more disrespectful on this. It was a good diss though. I like the song. Better than Boosie's in my opinion. I like the song. This is like a regular song to me. I won't be surprised if this one goes on his album that he got coming up. And yeah, it's a good song. I ain't mad at this one. It's a good song. Do I feel like why young boy need to respond? No. You know what I'm saying? Was it that like egregious and disrespectful? No. But... It is what it is. The only nigga that I gotta respond is Dirk, to be fair. Blank. It is what it is, man. Honestly, I feel like he kind of fucked young boy. I feel like, see, this is another situation like the Boosie situation. These two niggas, like, sit on the phone together and have a conversation. I feel like they'll be okay. Because, honestly, yeah. It's just whatever at this point. Like, it's just two straight niggas. Like, yeah, what it is. I get it. Everybody looked like they fucking with Dirk. You just like your back against the wall, so you like fuck everybody. I get, I get that perspective from him. But then Gucci probably like, nigga, what the fuck? I'm just working with this nigga because I, because he hot and like I fuck with him. Like, nigga, I don't dislike you. I'm just fucking with this nigga on the song. I'll still do a song with you. But who knows, bro? Yeah, hopefully these two niggas just sit down and have a conversation and like, cause it's just a, eh. like I don't feel like it's serious issues. You know what I'm saying? But. Eh. It was it. Sometimes a nigga just gotta say fuck you and you like, oh bet. But yeah, what do you think about this? Put this shit in the comments out below. Check out the links in the description. Check out the other videos I got. Besides all this, your friendly neighborhood cat A signing off for today. The black TJ Dead Wilder. My name ring bells like Quasimodo. Hit like and subscribe if you wanna hear a little bit more. You hear me? Shalom Zoom P Shalosh guy. Aye.